हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज थर्ड पार्ट फॉर इम्पॉर्टेंट फार्मूलाज एंड कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ गेट टू जीरो टू थ्री सो वी विल डिस्कस हियर करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द सेवन क्रिस्टल सिस्टम्स फर्स्ट सो देर आर ओनली सेवन क्रिस्टल सिस्टम्स आर अवेलेबल विच वी कैन सी हियर सो इन फर्स्ट वन केस ऑफ क्यूबिक दीज आर द रिलेशन बिटवीन द एक्सिस एक्वल टू बी इक्वल टू सी फॉर द एंगल बिटवीन एक्सिस ऑल एंगल्स आर इक्वल नाइन्टी डिग्री एंड वॉल्यूम ऑफ यूनिट सेल इज ए क्यूब एंड इन केस ऑफ सेकेंड क्रिस्टल सिस्टम दैट इज एट्रागोनल सो ए इक्वल टू बी नॉट इक्वल टू सी ऑल एंगल्स आर इक्वल नाइन्टी डिग्री एंड दिस इज द वॉल्यूम ऑफ फॉर दिस टेट्रागोनल थर्ड ऑर्थोरॉम्बिक ए नॉट इक्वल टू बी नॉट इक्वल टू सी ऑल एंगल्स इक्वल नाइन्टी डिग्री एंड द वॉल्यूम ऑफ ए बी सी हेक्जागोनल ए इक्वल टू बी नॉट इक्वल टू सी टू एंगल्स आर इक्वल टू नाइन्टी डिग्री एंड वन इज गामा इक्वल टू लाइक अल्फा इक्वल टू बीटा इक्वल टू नाइन्टी डिग्री एंड गामा इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री एंड वॉल्यूम इज दिस रोम्बोहेड्रल और ट्राइगोनल ए इक्वल टू बी इक्वल टू सी ऑल एंगल्स आर इक्वल एंड नन इक्वल्स टू नाइन्टी डिग्री अल्फा इक्वल टू बीटा इक्वल टू गामा ऑल दीज आर नॉट इक्वल टू नाइन्टी डिग्री दिस इज द वॉल्यूम ऑफ दिस यूनिट सेल मोनोक्लिनिक ए इक्वल टू बी ए नॉट इक्वल टू बी नॉट इक्वल टू सी टू एंगल्स आर इक्वल नाइन्टी डिग्री वन एंगल इज नॉट इक्वल टू नाइन्टी डिग्री एंड द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द यूनिट सेल फॉर दिस मोनोक्लिनिक ए बी सी साइन बीटा इन केस ऑफ ट्राइगोनल ए नॉट इक्वल टू बी नॉट इक्वल टू सी All angles are different and none equal to 90 degree. This is the volume of the unit cell for this one. So in all, in all possible seven crystal systems, cubic is the most symmetric crystal system and triclinic is the least symmetric crystal system. So now we will discuss about the symmetry associated with all these seven crystal systems. So in case of monoclinic. the symmetry associated with one two fold in case of rhombohedral one three fold in case of tetrahedral this is one four fold hexagonal one six fold cubic three four fold or 4 3 fold both are possible this is the most common in case of orthorhombic so in case of uh, orthorhombic we have uh, three two fold symmetry so uh, all 14 kind of bravais lattices are available in this uh, only associated with the only seven crystal systems so with uh, monoclinic first this is simple and base centered and uh, this rhombohedral simple tetra simple and body centered hexa simple hexagonal and uh, cubic simple body and face centered cubic ortho this has four kinds of bravais lattices simple body face and end centered so these are the 14 bravais lattices okay now we will see the relationships between the atomic radius and the lattice parameter in cubic systems so for simple cubic this is the simple cubic kind of uh, arrangement for atomic arrangements for simple cubic so this has a uh, a not is the distance between two atomic centers this is the relation of a is equal to 2r and the example for the simple cubic is polonium only one example is here in case of body centered cubic this is 4r equal to root 3a this is the relation between the atomic radius and lattice parameter for bcc the an example for bcc is chromium tungsten etc for face centered cubic the relation between the atomic radius and lattice parameter is 4r equal to root 2a and example for this is like nickel aluminum and etc now we will see one more important formula for the percentage 
crystallinity in polymers so percentage crystallinity is uh, defined like for the crystal that crystalline polymer and the specimen for which we are uh, trying to determine the crystallinity and the amorphous so the formula is percentage crystallinity is equal to density for the crystalline specimen density for the specimen and this is the amorphous density for the amorphous so this is the formula we use for uh, determining the percentage crystallinity in the polymers this is the fundamental formula for converting weight percentage to atomic percent and atomic percent to weight percent so if we are considering two element a and b and we are uh, changing this uh, we are converting from weight percent to atomic percent then we need this formula we want to calculate the atomic percent from weight percent and if we are changing this uh, atomic percent to weight percent then atomic percent is given and we are calculating this weight percent so weight percent of uh, like element a is equal to atomic percent of a into at at atomic weight of a divided by atom percent a into atomic weight of a plus b and this we can calculate the weight percent of a like this and atom percent of a like this uh, so guys one more information i would like to share with all of you that we have launched one subscription based subscription based channel on telegram for metallurgy quiz so the link is given in this description of this video and uh, we have already posted 400 plus questions related to uh, metallurgical basic fundamental concepts so you can go through from those questions and uh, you will uh, surely be benefited thank you we'll go further now we will see this power law work hardening so in this case this is the flow curve of many metals in the region of uniform plastic deformation can be expressed by simple power curve relation sigma is equal to k sin into the power n where sigma is the true stress and uh, psilin is true strain k is the strength coefficient and uh, n is strain hardening coefficient so in this case we will see that uh, in which region of uh, true stress strain diagram this relation is valid so if this is this uh, sigma versus epsilon diagram and uh, the normal curve would be like this so in this region if we will see first this region so this might be the elastic region and and the rest of this region we will define as the plastic region so here i would like to add also two to three more information like first we will see the proportionality limit then elastic limit and then yield strength yield stress which is related to the 0.02% of offset strain so from where the plastic deformation starts and up to the maximum load or to the corresponding stress this is the qts so this power law relation is valid in this region from yield stress region to qts this is the reason where sigma is equal to k epsilon to the power n is valid this is called the work hardening region also or strain hardening so here we can see that this is the uniform elongation okay now we will see the relationship between elastic modulus shear modulus and bulk modulus so e is the bulk modulus sorry this is the modulus of elasticity or young modulus and uh, k is the bulk modulus and g is the shear modulus or modulus of rigidity so the relationship between modulus of elasticity and uh, modulus of rigidity e is equal to 2g is within bracket 1 plus mu mu is the poisson's ratio and uh, e is equal to 3k 1 minus 2 mu this is the relationship between the modulus of elasticity and bulk modulus 
okay now we will see the uh, common berger vector which we will use in uh, daily practice for uh, conceptual fundamentals like uh, cubic crystals like fcc bcc and scp so in case of fcc this is the b is equal to a not by 2 1 1 so this shows the direction and a not is the lattice parameter for fcc and uh, in case of bcc b is equal to a not by 2 1 1 1 and uh, scp b is equal to a not by 3 1 1 1 to 0 and uh, this dislocation reaction where the uh, which is uh, favorable like high energy cannot be go ahead so it will break into two berger vector b1 breaks into b2 plus b3 will be feasible only when b1 square is greater than b2 square plus b3 square now we will see how the berger vector of fcc we can show in the unit cell so if this is the unit cell for fcc so the most dense direction shows the berger vector that is so this is the 100 direction so this is the half distance this will show the berger vector for fcc in case of bcc the unit cell will be like this so here the berger vector will be a not by 2 1 1 1 so this is the most dense direction this will be this is the direction and the berger vector will be this a not by 2 1 1 1 1 okay and in case of scp so we will just show the berger vector these are the three directions a1 a2 and a3 the berger vector for fcc is a not by 3 1 1 2 bar 0 so we will see that this a1 a2 a3 and i so one we will move one unit in a1 one unit in a2 and two unit in negative two unit in a3 so this is a3 we will move one unit and two unit so it should be like this it will come in this direction so this is the berger vector in case of scp so these are the berger vector associated with the fcc bcc and scp thank you we will see further